Right guys, so we've had our first two cars delivered to the new unit. Bit of a game because I was over at Barnstable and they were supposed to give me an hour's notice and they didn't. Um, they gave me 10 minutes notice so I had to race across but luckily the driver was a sound guy. So what we've got in is we've got the little Ford KA on a 2010 in this nice metallic pink colour. Paintwork overall seems good, only very minor scuff down there on that corner. Bit of a scratch there, we'll see how that T cuts out. Bit of a scratch there. I don't think any of it is going to merit paint. I think it's just a little touch up pen maybe, you've got quite a deep scratch there. But at this price point it probably isn't going to merit doing lots of work. Maybe try and get hold of a, a new badge to tidy that up. So this one, where's my keys? This one unlocked, it's a bit like. Right, so this one has done 60,000 miles. Uh, I do have the log book and I have a service book as well. A quick look at the service book. Um, we've got service in 2021. Third, so March 2021. Before that, it's 2017. But we did have a cam belt replaced in 2015. So that's not bad. Theoretically, it's probably due another cam belt now. It's done about 30,000 miles since then. I think there are every five years on these, but it is a non-interference engine, so it isn't the end of the world. I'll have to decide on that side of things. Interior-wise, it's all in good nick. A bit mouldy in the back from sitting by the looks of it. That's probably, yeah, that'll be broken. They're always broken. That's our little start-up. Now I did actually drive this round the yard a little bit earlier. Just a little slow starting, let me just try that again. That's better. Um, so yeah, I had a little drive around the yard and there doesn't seem to be any clutch issues or gearbox issues on it. That was a little slow start. Now these benefit from spark plugs, they do foul their spark plugs quite a lot and their throttle body and all that, so it's worth a lot of the time giving all that a good clean out. They run a lot better if you do that. Clean it all out, replace the spark plugs and you'll find your little 1.2 KA or, or uh, Fiat 500 will run a lot better. Yeah, engine sounds sweet enough. Didn't actually look in the bonnet yet. I should have done before I started doing that, but we know it's had a service recently, so it's theoretically should be all right. I think this one's going to polish up all right. We've got minor marking on the alloys. Again, doesn't really merit full paint, just a bit of a touch up. Underneath here looks honest enough. Let's get, check the oil. Let's just uh, wipe that off a second because we've had it running, haven't we? Not quite clean enough. Sorry, Nikki, for filthing up the trousers again. Right, put that in there. Alternator belt looks new, fairly new, with the lettering still on it, nice and clear. Oil wise, you're a bit low on oil. I mean, obviously it hasn't rested after I've just run it, but it's probably about half a litre off, I'd say. Yeah, on these, that's about half a litre. So that could do with a bit of a top up. It does surprise me if there's an oil change that recently. I wonder if they did actually do a change on it. We'll have to have a little, uh, have to have a little look, see. Coolant level wise, these are really hard to see on these. They, um, they're really dark and you can really see, ah, oh, that's up the top. You can see it sloshing about now. So that side of things all right. Brake flow is all nice and clear. So it looks like it just needs a good clean. Let's have a quick look underneath and see if we can see. Check the sump for starters, because we know those like to rot out on these. Very minor weep, but not from the sump itself, from a little bit further up, probably rocker cover. Can't quite see the oil filter, but with an oil change that recently, if it genuinely was done, it surprises me it's that dirty that early on. So I need to get underneath and check it did actually get a service. But they are super tough, these engines, to be honest. They can get really abused and run on forever. I've, like I say, I've had them with 200,000 miles on my so. Overall, she looks like she'll clean up all right. She doesn't look like she needs any major work. I can't remember how long the MOT is on it. 
but um, remote central locking is working all right. And we've got another spare key in there. Tires are pretty damn good. Yeah, got loads of tread on the tires. This one to me, on initial inspection, looks like a polish it up, do a little bit of touching, don't go crazy on it, and let it go, you know, for good value for money. Now, differently, I'll say differently about this one, the Fiesta. Now, I knew it was a grade five, but I was a bit remiss in checking this car over. So we've got a lot of scratching down here. Now, some of this might polish out, some of it might not. But quite a lot of scuff in here. Again, might polish out, might not. It's also scuffed all the way along this side with a little dent there and some scuffing here and a scuff there. But the big thing I failed to notice was how badly damaged the front bumper was. So we've got a big old hole here. Now we're missing a fog light. We've got a crack here and a crack up there. Now to be honest, although I can plastic weld, we've got other bits of trim like that broken there. I think I need to find a bumper. Ideally in the right colour to save painting because I imagine this paint is a bit of a nightmare. This is one again I don't think it merits. I mean I'm not going to paint the whole side of the car. I don't think it financially stacks up. And it's too risky with the colour as well. I think this is a case of get a new bumper on it, machine polish all those scratches best I can, get a touch up pen, tidy up a bit like the little KA and again let it go cheap. Now this one also has some service history with it. We haven't had a look inside yet, have we? Inside of this one is filthy. It needs a really good clean. Really good clean. <laughs> that I knocked down when I got in. Um, yeah, it needs a really good clean. Again, I've driven it round the block. Well, what did I do with the service book? I put down the service book. Oh, is it in here? Did I put it in there myself? That's the owner's handbook. There is a service book for this somewhere. I've picked it up. I thought it was in that folder. What else have we got though? Now, I've been trying to video these cars for you for about half an hour. But the lovely thing about Devon, either a curse or a pleasure, is that everyone wants to chat. And the delivery driver from BCA wanted to chat a lot, which I want to cover a bit more in a minute. And um, the chap, the farmer chap that came to move some of the crates that were in the car park, um, wanted to chat a lot. Lots of old MOTs is basically what I've got here. Um, and they basically <laughs> took me about an hour to get round to filming because they were so friendly and wanted to chat so much. And then the guy that turned up to pick up the crates on his trailer for the farm, I wanted to chat as well. So we've got lots of um, lots of MOTs here. We've got lots of other paper. I can have to go through all of this. What's this? This one looks like a service one. Uh, when's that from? Oh, 2020. So this is a relevant one. We've got the air filter, um, some spark plugs, and some wiper blades. So we'll have to go through all this. Obviously, it'd be nice to see one for a cam belt on this one too. Uh, I think the last service I saw it was 2018 in the book. So obviously that one hasn't been written into the book. So we'll have to go through all the paperwork and write the book. Got the locking wheel nut there, nice. Didn't check them and see if we did. We've got the USB and the auxiliary input, which will be a bonus. But these seats all need a really good clean. We've got burn hole there. And we've got this horrible, this happens a lot on these Fords, this, this plastic stuff up here. I've got some grey plastic dip. I'm going to have to use to tidy that up. Mask around here and just spray it, and mask that off and spray in that area to tidy that up. Because that's a nightmare on these Fords. I don't know why that goes all the time. Uh, we've got air con. I haven't checked whether that's blown cold or not. Should we start her up? Again, we know she's had a service fairly recently, so she should have oil in her. Now, I did actually leave this running for about 20 minutes, so I know it's not overheating or anything like that. Aircon, how cold is your aircon? Uh... Well, that's a concern. I can't feel it blowing. Oh, no, they were shut off. It's <laughs> uh, on hot, it's definitely cold. No, oh, the aircon's pretty cold. Yeah, that's pretty cold. That's a bonus. Uh, we'll turn it off and check the engine, but the engine seemed to have been running sweet. Again, I drove this around the yard. It didn't seem to have any problems initially with the clutch. Back seat's got burn holes in as well. Needs a really good clean. This is one to just tidy up and let it go out cheap. 
I think. I can't remember what the MOT length is on these. We'll have to go back and check what the MOT lengths are on these. How did I do with the service book for that one? I need to dig... Oh, it's in my pocket. There we go, James. You rammed it in your pocket, you moron. Uh, oh, only a two keeper. It's only had one previous keeper. Clean it look after it a bit better. Right, service book. Let's have a quick look. Right, so we've got service 2018, so that last one hasn't been put in there. 2017, 16, 15, 13. Uh, the mileage used to jump quite a lot with the second owner because it was only 56 in 2018, so it's had another 50 odd thousand miles put on in that time, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because it means that someone was using it as a daily and you tend to make sure your daily's running right. There just seems to be lots of little trim pieces missing, so headliner's dirty. This is one that's going to need the mother of all cleans, guys. The mother of all cleans. Let's have a quick check underneath the engine bay. Yeah, pretty much. Let's do a quick wipe off because it was running earlier. We're at the right level there. And, oh, it's pretty clean. So it looks again like probably mechanically being looked after, just beaten up a bit. Now again, I can't remember what the MOTs are on these, so I need to go back and check those and decide what I'm going to start on first. Odds on are I won't get started on these for probably another week because still in the process of making the move and got other stuff to get done. Um, but back to the BCA driver. Now... I'm not going to retread old ground here, guys. We all know, I think I'm left the keys and Nick, that BCA own We Buy Any Car. And from We Buy Any Car, they feed Cinch, which is the um, sort of sub five years old and younger um, internet sales business, Cinch, that she advertised on the telly. Now, like I say, we've all gone over this before. We all know that's the deal. But what was interesting was having it confirmed by the BCA driver exactly how the market is currently working and what stock we're getting to bid on. Now we all had our suspicions that basically anything decent coming in was going straight over to Cinch if it was sort of five years old or younger. But he embellished a little bit more on it for me. He said basically what's happening is if a car comes in under five years old from say mobility or lease or whatever and it is graded below three so for example a two or a one it isn't even seeing the auction block it's been immediately transferred over to the holding pen for cinch so those cars aren't even getting out into the open market for you to bid on confirmed exactly what i said to you guys on an earlier video is that they're not interested in anything over five years old if it's over seventy thousand miles he said they're not interested in it It has to be below seventy thousand miles he said so all you're seeing really going on the auction block is the stuff that is either bodywork tired mechanically tired or over seventy thousand miles in that five year or younger category and i'm sure there's a few exceptions along the way but um yeah that's what he told me and he's the driver from bca and um like i said we all had our suspicions it was happen happening but it looks like that's exactly what's happening as i said doesn't really affect me because they aren't interested in battered up old fiestas or ka's they want to stick with the five-year-old lease stuff and mobility stuff but yeah that's where we are with the current market interesting stuff but yeah obviously for me i was going to start to try and do some of the nicer newer stuff because i do think this is probably the location for it but uh, i think currently i mean obviously you've still got Mannheim, but i think currently for that kind of market probably better off scouring the, scouring the private ads i've got a couple of big thank yous to put out there number one big thank you to all of those of you that from a previous video went and checked out my wife's site papers uh paper flowers by nikki um i'll put a screenshot up of it now but I put it up a little while ago because I was just talking about how she'd given up the corporate life and set up her own business. And um, it seems that a number of you have gone and actually ordered the products from her. So a big thanks for the support there. A big thumbs up and a thanks for the support on that. She asked me to mention it in the next video because she is very grateful for those of you that went through and ordered. So yeah, big thanks for that. 
Now, the other thing I needed to thank you for is all the people that have been sending me the offers of help to get stuff into the unit, and also those of you who have been sending me your cars. So now a number of you have been sending your cars uh, to me, details of your cars, people that we're going to part exchange and we'll send them to, to we buy any car. Um, and offering them up to me, which is absolutely fantastic, guys, because that's a real help, because you're all being pr pretty straight with what the cars are and how much you're looking for to get out of them. My only challenge a lot of the time with you is just how far away you are. Just don't forget it cost me like two or three hundred pounds to get a car here. So unfortunately, a lot of my offers, compared to you rocking up, you know, at we buy any car, obviously, if you brought the car down here to me, I'd be able to offer more. Um, but if you're rocking up to We Buy Any Car and I haven't got any transportation costs, they're going to be offer, able to offer you two or three hundred pound one I am straight out of the gates. So you really need to be fairly local. But it is massively helpful, so huge thanks for that. Um, I do have to ask for another favour though. <laughs> now obviously when I ran the business out of Alfa Ragazzi, I put all my car advertising through the Alfa Ragazzi page. It was on my website, but that means all the reviews for all of my cars have stayed on the Alfa Ragazzi um, Facebook page and I'm not able to transfer them over to my own Facebook page. Now I do have a current Facebook page, uh, I'll do a screenshot for it, it's under AR Car Sales which is, which is going to change to um, CG Car Sales but I can edit the name on that page, that's not, not a problem at all because I want to keep that running because I do have a couple of reviews on there. But any of you that have bought vehicles from me or from watching the channel feel informed enough to give me a review, it would be really, really helpful if you go to that, uh, as I say, currently it's AR Car Sales um, Facebook page. I'll put the, like I say, I'll put the link in below. But if, obviously I'm losing all of my reviews on the Alfa Ragazzi page, so it's gonna be really hard to get that back up again, trading at the new address. So if you feel confident based on the way you've seen me doing business or you've had a, you know, a few of you had vehicles from me, if you can whip on there and do me a little uh, review on Facebook, that would be massively appreciated. Anyway, I think that's the end of this vid. So we've got our first couple of cars in at the new location. We've got another couple arriving soon, um, which I'll do a walk around with you on as well. But now it's time to get back over to Barnsville and pick up some more bits and bobs. We've got the last bits and bobs to move. But as always, thanks for watching, guys. Really, really appreciate it. Thanks for all your comments. I do try and get through and answer all of them. Um, and I'll see you again very soon. Oh, and I think on that video, we're going to have the reveal of the new project. I haven't had transferred over here yet. So that's something for you guys to look out for. Because I think it's a bit left field. I'm not sure you're going to think it's the kind of vehicle I would probably get.